know, the vaccines are producing what's called a polyclonal effect, as you know. Um, it's the full-length spike protein in these vaccines. So you're producing antibodies against many regions of that spike protein. Um, the mutations are just mutating select regions on the spike protein. Now, what's concerning about the South African variant, perhaps the Scottish variant as well, is that they mutated the region on the spike protein where we developed some of our best antibodies. So they mutated the receptor binding domain, and that's the domain where we develop what's called neutralizing antibodies. Um, and so the, the worry is that if you change that region of the spike protein enough and the antibodies that would traditionally target that part of the virus are no longer operative, no longer as effective, the antibodies you're left with aren't as good. Now that doesn't seem to be the case yet, and it's also not gonna be the case probably that you're gonna see a sudden mutation um, where it's gonna obviate the vaccine within the span of one season. Um, what you would likely see if in fact this virus is able to mutate in ways that evade our countermeasures and evade our vaccines is that the vaccine may lose effectiveness against certain strains but not others. But it wouldn't be the situation where you'd go into a season and it would be entirely ineffective or that we wouldn't see that coming. So. You know, I do think that this is not like the flu vaccine, um, but we're going to need to have a better surveillance system, and we're going to probably need to update these vaccines over time. It's um, possible that you're going to see strains emerge that are more pathogenic, that uh, either cause a more severe disease, they bind more tightly to certain receptors. So, you know, I think many people um, seem to be surprised that the virus um, is mutating this quickly, but the reality is that we've been with this virus now for a year. It's infected um, millions of people around the world, and it's been subject to selective pressure. So this is about the time that you start to see these new variants emerge. I think what this underscores is we need a very good surveillance system with sequencing that allows us to detect these variants, know when they're emerging, know when they become prevalent, and then update our countermeasures, not just the vaccines, but also the antibodies. Not necessarily more deadly, uh, but it does seem to infect a wider number of individuals.